Deva. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. So, wanting to seek the blessings of Radha Mother, Brother Shams, and the Krishna Balaram, Bhal, Bhal, Govita, Shila Prabhupada, assembled devotees. Today is uh, Lord Nityananda's appearance day, Nityananda Triyodashi. Very, very joyful festival, joyful day. It's the appearance of one of the most fascinating and most um, extraordinary uh, personalities. So, this is uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adilila, chapter 5, text 1. Vandiyanantad Bhutaishwaryam Shri Nityanandam Ishwaram Yashyaichai Yatat Sarupam Agyenapi Nirup Yate Let me offer my obeisances to Lord Nityan Shri Nityananda. The obeisances as a Supreme Personality of Godhead, whose opulence is wonderful and unlimited by his will, even a fool can understand his identities. This is from Adi Leela, chapter 5, text 1, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Very, very kind-hearted, merciful. He is requesting everyone, O people of faith, O people of faith, by the order of Lord Gauranga, O brothers, I beg these three requests from all of you. Chant Krishna, worship Krishna, teach others about Krishna. So we just uh, sang a song, which was exactly that, by Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And this is the, this is the, Price we have to pay. Little bit of faith. That's all. So this is a uh, this is a very old picture of Lord Nityananda, said to be uh, painted when he was present on the planet. So very interesting picture. Without your mercy, no one will get Gora. Even if one worships Gora for a hundred lifetimes, sometimes Goranga may punish someone, but you will protect him. But if you punish somebody. Gora will never accept him. So this is, uh, and we know from the story of Jagai Madai, how they offended Nityananda. And Gauranga was very, very upset. But because Nityananda had forgiven them, Gauranga also forgave them. So, this is the Panchatattva in Mayapur. Chitani Mahapur in the middle. Nityananda is on his right. The main man, the right-hand man. And who is he? Well, Chaitanya is Krishna himself, Radha Krishna combined. And Nityananda is actually Balaram. Balaram, but with the added quality of compassion. Huge amount of compassion. Balaram, when he was present, he wouldn't tolerate insolence. But Nityananda tolerated being hit by Jagai and Dai. So we can see the difference between the two. The amount of compassion Nityananda has is immense. Advaita is Mahavishnu, Gadadhar is Radharanga, and Shiva Sakura is Narad Muni. These three are Vishnu Tattva. They are non different from Krishna. So what are his pastimes? Lord Nitin is non-different from Lord Balaram. Added with compassion. And before Balaram, he was Lakshman, Ram's younger brother. So this is Balaram and this is Nityananda. They love blue. Mm -hmm. This is Lakshman. Nityananda Prabhu was born in Ekachakra, a small village in present day West Bengal. So this is um, Orissa, Orissa, and then um, we have Nadia, which is above Calcutta, and Mayapur is situated here. From Mayapur, we can go to Ekachakra. It's a little bit far away, maybe two, three hour drive in the village, in the rural area in um, West Bengal. He was born around the year 1474, 12 years before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Nityananda Prabhu was born on the auspicious 13th day, Triodasi, of the bright fortnight of the month of Mark. His birth site is commemorated by a temple named Garbasha, Garbashwa, Nityananda Janmustan. There it is in Ekchakardam. So this is also, this is where he was actually born. 
And this is the his father's house, very close to where he was born. Well, is... I went there, so yeah, when I went. Oh to yes, the... yes, you were there just recently. Yes, yeah. can you want to share? Yeah, it was a special place, and mm -hmm. uh, we were lucky that we were told it will close. I can't remember before one, so we rushed. We got the darshan of. Odisha Nanda Prabhu, very special place. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Well done, well done. Very good. His father, uh, Hadai Oja, and mother Padmavati were pious Brahmins originally from Mithila. As a child, Nitai, or as Nityananda Prabhu was called, loved to enact the pastimes of Sri Krishna or Lord Balaram. The village of Chakra was completely absorbed in the love of little Nitai, where he spent the first 12 years of his earthly years. So sometimes they used to do dramas and he was so uh, convincing in his role as either Lakshman or, or Balaram. It was enchanting for the whole village. In his 13th year, travelling sannyasi Sri La Lakshmi Pati Tirtha enchanted by Nitai's devotion and service, requested Nitai from his parents as a traveling companion. <laughs> this is really very challenging. The parents were asked to, to, for them to take Nitai, for him to take Nitai. His parents, bowed, bound by Vedic culture, could not refuse the request of a guest and reluctantly parted with Nitai. However, devastated by the separation from Nitai, Hadai Pandit soon gave up his life. Nitai travelled with Lakshmi Pati Tirtha for about 20 years, during which he visited all the holy places in the country. Lakshmi Pati Tirtha's famous disciple, Madhavendrapuri, was revered as by Nityai and became his spiritual master. So Madhavendrapuri is very famous because he inaugurated the worship of Radha and Krishna in this tradition. Among the other disciples of Adhanda Puri is Advaita Charya Ishwara Puri, the spiritual master of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this is Madhavendra Puri, very famous devotee. So Nityananda Prabhu met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in 1506. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born 1486. So the Lord was 20 years old. So he met him when Nityananda Prabhu was 32. It is said that when Nityananda Prabhu reached the land of Nadia, he hid in the house of Nandanandachari to heighten the ecstasy of meeting through separation. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was aware of the arrival of, of his eternal associate. He dispatched Haridas Thakur and Srivas Pandit to search him out, but they could not find him. Finally, unable to bear the separation any longer, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself went directly to Nityananda Prabhu and the ecstasy of the meeting was so transcendental that everyone witnessing it were owed by the sublime experience. Because this is Krishna Balaram meeting or Ram Lakshman meeting for the first time after some time being present on this planet. So of course there was intense ecstasy. A temple called Sri Gauda Nityananda commemorates this meeting place in Nadia. This is the place, Sri Ishwar Dhyana. Then Lord Chaitanya took Nityananda to the home of Sri Vas Pandit. So we often go to this place in Mayapur and do Kirtan here, so a sublime place where Chaitanya Mahapu would spend hours performing uh, Harinam Sankirtan. Mahaprabhu asked Nityananda and Haridas to serve as his door-to-door door, door -door preachers, spreading the message of love of God to every home in Navadu. Nityananda and Haridas, so one of their tours, preaching tours, Nityananda and Haridas, they met the brothers Jagai and Madai. They were from a priestly dynasty. They were Brahmins, but had abandoned the pious ways of their forefathers for a life of debauchery. Chagai and Madai were in a drunken stupor, creating havoc throughout the village. Nityananda felt compassion on these fallen souls. He was thinking, if we can change them, we can change everybody. 
and reason that if they could be rectified, then Mahabubu's mission would become even more well received in Navadvi. Approaching the two brothers on the street, Nitai begged them to chant the holy name Krishna. But the two villains just chased Nityananda down the road, shouting profanities and calling him foul names. Madai threw a clay pot, broken clay pot, that came crashing down on Nityananda's divine head, causing him to bleed. When Mahaprabhu heard what had happened, he became infuriated and rushed to the area himself, summoning his Sudarshan Chakra. Mahaprabhu was prepared to kill the two repentant brothers on the spot. So when devotees are offended, the Lord cannot tolerate. So when Nityananda was offended in this horrible way, the Lord was ready to abandon the mission of him coming. But Nityananda stops him. If you see, look, Nityananda says, no, Lord Chaitanya, you cannot kill them. If you kill them, you'll have to kill everybody. They all like them. <laughs> Nityananda reminded the Lord that the majority of people in this age are as fallen as Jagai and Madai and that it is his mission to liberate them with love. Hearing these words, Mahaprabhu forgave Jagai because Jagai hadn't, um, he actually stopped Madai from doing more damage to Nithai. Of course, you can't do damage to the Supreme Lord. This is a pastime. It's a, a lila. But Madai, who had perpetrated the evil deed, needed to be forgiven by Nityananda himself. And of course, Nityananda quickly forgave Madai. When Jagai and Madai saw Nityananda's forgiving nature towards them, his heart, his, their hearts changed. Jagai and Madai, they realized, wow, look at the compassionate nature of Nityananda. We were about to be destroyed. And even if we had offended him, he not just forgave us, but he also asked Chaitanya to forgive us. They resolved to become devotees of Mahaprabhu's mission. Seeing their sincerity, Mahaprabhu took all their sins on his own head. For a few brief moments, his beautiful golden body turned into a unsightly blackish color. Indeed, when Yamaraj's assistant Chitragupta tried to tally Jagai and Madai's collective sins, he could not do so and collapsed from exhaustion. <laughs> oh, wow. <That's> so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so we can see the compassionate nature of Gornitai. <laughs> Prabhuji? Mm, yes. I was listening to a lecture this morning Mm. And it says that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going to these two people, ah. where, where they had hit Nityananda Prabhu, he transiently took the appearance of uh, Narsi Bhagwan. Mm. But then Haridas Thakur told him that this is not the time and the place to show yourself <laughs> as, as uh, Narsi Bhagwan. So he became his own self and then took out his Sudarshan Chakra. Interesting. interesting. I haven't heard that before. Very mm. interesting. Thank you. It was in the ISKCON class today, this morning. Okay, very interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Very good. After Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas, Nityananda deceived him to come to the home of Advaita in Shantipur. Nobody liked the idea of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taking sannyas. And uh, Nityananda also didn't like the idea so much. So he tricked him that this is the Yamuna. But actually, it was the Ganga. And um, <clears throat> um, then they had met. They met again in Chandipur, Advaita Charya's place, which we go, often go and visit when we go to Mayapur. Mm -hmm. And they, they had Prashad. Um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he, he, he was served so much Prashad, he would say, I can't eat all this, this is too much. And Nityananda, on the other hand, had the same amount of Prashad, but he would say, what is this? Hardly a morsel, I can't eat, this is nothing. I'm still going to remain hungry after eating here. <laughs> Nityananda, he liked to joke a lot. And him and Advaita Charya, they would always be joking and fighting, mock fighting, and you know, really having um, some really wonderful leela between them. So, Lord Nityananda broke the Lord's danda in three parts and threw it into the river Bhargi Nadi, named as Ganga 
Dan, sorry, Danda Bhanga Nadi. So this is the sannyas danda. He threw it into the river after breaking into three parts. And it said he broke into three parts because um, the Vaishnava sannyasis, they have three dandi. They don't carry one dandi. One dandi means basically that I can become one with God. But actually three dandi means that I am serving God with my mind, intelligence and ego. So there you go, another picture. And Mahaprabhu, when he did, when Nityananda did this, he externally became angry and he ran towards Vrindavan. He left, oh, he, you know, so he, he went for um, Jagannath Puri. He, he, in anger, he left for Jagannath Puri. And then later he was joined by Nityananda and other devotees. Soon thereafter, Mahaprabhu left Nityananda and proceeded on a tour of South in Bharat. That was to last for two years. So Nityananda in Jagannath Puri, although feeling great separation from the Lord, spread the Sankirtan movement with great relish. So this was what Nityananda did. He, he would spread, he would give this Krishna consciousness to anybody and everybody. When Mahaprabhu returned, he was pleased to see that Nityananda had developed the movement in Puri. However, the, the movement in Navadvip, in Bengal, had been sorely neglected. And so, in 1511, Mahaprabhu requested Nityananda to return to Bengal. And there, in Bengal, they did a lot of Harinam Sankirtan. They would preach, they would go door to door, they would do kirtans. There were so many uh, amazing leelas took place. So who is this Nityananda? He, in his role as the original spiritual mind, he's regarded to be the original guru. He's instrumental in spreading Yuga Dharma of Sankirtan all over Bengal and Orissa, which is known as Godadesh. His mercy knew no bounds, and people fortunate to come in contact with him were inundated with love of Godhead. It is by his mercy that Raghunath Das being born in a wealthy family, one of the six Sami, started the famous Danda Mahotsava festival of Panihati, a tradition that continues to this day. The devotees have as much yogurt and chip rice as they desire. And this is the mercy of Nityananda. He put his feet on the head of Raghunath Das Goswami. Very amazing. This was a fantastic festival. It's it still kind of celebrated every single year. To this day, Nityananda Prabhu traveled on, visiting Shantipur, Navadri, where he literally went door to door and begged people to surrender to Mahaprabhu's Sankirtan mission. He said to have converted no less than 1,200 male and 1,300 female Buddhists. Mm -hmm. One time, Nityananda took Jiva Goswami on a parikram of Navadvip, Dham, the area surrounding Mahaprabhu. The holy abode of Lord Chaitanya. When they approached Mayapur, Lord Nityananda, overwhelmed with ecstasy of love of Krishna, his, the Lord spoke the following words to Jiva Goswami. So this is from the Navadvi Dham Mahatmya by Bhakti Thakur, chapter 5. When our Lord appears, by his desire, the Gangas, Gangas will swell. The Ganga water will almost cover Mayapur for 100 years. So this is what happens. Ganga actually uh, inundated Mayapur. Then the water will recede, which it has now. For some time only, the place will remain devoid of houses. Then again, by the Lord's desire, this place will become prominent and people will live in Mayapur as before, like they are now. All these guts on the banks of the Ganga will again be manifest and the devotees will build temples of the Lord. One exceedingly wonderful temple would appear from which Goranga's eternal past service will be preached everywhere. So this is the TOVP as we know it famously, which is what is being built right now in Mayapur. So this is what Dityananda Prabhu uh, predicted and he was showing Jiva Goswami in Mayapur. When Nityananda Prabhu returned to Bengal at the request of Chaitanya Mahapur, he decided to abandon his avadut status and became a grahastha. He married Janava Devi and Vashuda, the two daughters of Suryadas Sarakal Sarakhel. 
they were incarnations of Revati and Varuna, Varuni Devi, the wives of Balaram. So this is where Nityananda married Janava Devi, Ambika Kalna. It's in um, Bangladesh. No? Nityananda Prabhu had a son, Virachan, Vir, Vir Chandara, and a daughter, Ganga Devi, from Vashuda. Soon after, Vashuda passed away, after Nityananda left this world, and Janava looked after the children. She later initiated Virachandra and also became instructing spiritual master to the wonderful souls like Shyamananda, Srinivas, and uh, Narottam Das Thakur. So his wife, Janava Devi, is revered as a Vaishnavi and she established a permanent, permanent position of women in the Vaishnava tradition. So how did he leave? Nityananda wound up his earthly pastime by merging into the deity of Krishna known as Bankim Ray, not far from Ekka Chakra. So this is Bankim Ray. He merged into this deity. Vaishnav's acharyas emphatically state that people who try to understand Chaitanya Mahaprabhu without getting the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu will never succeed. So <clears throat> Nityananda is um, very important to us in uh, our spiritual progress. Without his blessings, and his blessings are very, very easy to obtain. Very easy. He's very tolerant, compassionate. But without them, it's very hard. One must pray very sincerely to Lord Nityananda Prabhu as the original Adi Guru, original spiritual master, to be delivered to the lotus feet, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So that's a good prayer to have every single day to Lord Nityananda. Please, let me become a devotee of Chaitanya. And to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu we can pray, pray, please, please, give me prema bhakti. <laughs> the presence of Nityananda Prabhu is always felt in the presence of one's guru. For the Guru is considered to be the living manifestation of Nityananda Prabhu's love and mercy. And his Shakti power is what gives the disciple the ability to perform devotional service and experience spiritual bliss. <clears throat> so other pastimes, there were many. With Haridas Thakur, they were, they were always joking. And Haridas Thakur would complain to Advaita Charya, <clears throat> this Nityananda. He's crazy man. When we go out, he pulls the sikhas of the Brahmins. He teases the girls. He really is a bit crazy. <laughs> and this was his behavior. He liked to fool around. He liked everybody to have a bit of fun. This is nature of Nityananda. He was uh, very joking, always joking. Nityananda is actually Ananga Manjari, rather than his younger sister in Madhurya Ras. So this is interesting. Nityananda is also very merciful. He was merciful to Shivananda Sen. Once when the devotees from Bengal journeyed again to Jagannath Puri to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the leader as usual was Shivananda Sen, who traveled with his wife and children. Because arrangements were delayed en route, Lord Nityananda did not have a suitable place to reside. He became somewhat angry with Shivananda Sen, who was in charge of the affairs of and kicked him in loving anger. So Nityananda would often do this. He would give somebody a hard time. But it actually it was done in love. Shivananda Sen felt highly favoured to have to have been kicked by Nityananda Prabhu. <laughs> so this is the last time. These are the lotus feet of you know, Nityananda. One day we'll go through what each of these things are. But, uh, all the lordships have certain markings on their lotus feet or their lotus hands. And Nityananda is no different. And Very similar things, to Lord Krishna's feet, isn't it? It's pretty similar, yeah. Many items are, are the same. Many are the same. Yeah, many are the same. I don't know what mm. the difference. Yeah, mo mostly they're the same, yeah. They're more same than different, yeah. And we've got them all listed here, but uh, today we haven't got the time. In fact, I need to... And this is his hands. His hands also have these different markings, which uh, are amazing. Twelve different whole names of uh, Nityananda. Let's just recite those. Nityananda, Avadu Dendu, Vashuddha Panabalab, 
जानवी जीवित पति कृष्ण प्रेम पद प्रभु पद्मावती सुता श्रीमन सचिनंद सचिनंदन पूर्वज भाव भावो मता जगत तथा रक्ता गोरा कलेवर so many wonderful names it's nice to remember these names you know, here talk about these names now so I wanted to stop there any any comments any questions Prabhu you said that you can adopt Prabhu is the sister of Radharani yeah Anand Gavmanjari he's like yeah. uh, expansion he's expansion <laughs> Anand Gavmanjari he expands as Anand Gavmanjari to give Radharani more pleasure krishna more pleasure yes or oh, for the service of oh, okay yes. prabhu is it possible for you to send me everything that yes uh, of course yeah of course. thank yeah. you okay i want to go for it okay thank you yes yes i'll send it to you thank okay. you krishna prabhu ji hari krishna madhuban mm hari krishna um i listen all mm -hmm. but to be honest <laughs> एवरीबडी यूज टू डू दूजा बाल कृष्ण बाल कृष्ण ठाकुर जी वोट एवर डिफरेंट वोट एवर यू से एंड एट दी एंड आई डोट नो आई स्टार्टेड नाउ बिकॉज आई गोट द बाल कृष्ण सीन्स पेढ़ी थी पेढ़ी मार सासू पास थी हम मार हसबंड पूजा करता था पी I just give up two three months and पीछे पाच मैंने एम थे ना दिस इज नॉट भगवान क्रॉस जाऊ बराबर नहीं Hmm. and i i i i do myself little bit i don't know how to do the whole puja and because of i do whatever i feel hmm. but aaj hmm. tumhe aaj tumhe badu kidu a lord hmm. chait i know chaitanya prabhu nu naam to avar navar bahu saimblu che ena vise thodu gano vaichu che pan to je mane a khabar nahi padti to be honest hmm. ke आ कयो पंथ छे इज कृष्ण नो छे व्हाट एवर इट इज व्हाट्स द डिफरेंट बिटवीन दिस एंड द वैष्णव लोको जे माने छे ए लोको आकु जुदु ए मा केटला बदा महाप्रभु जी ने पछी एना घणा नाम हमणा हूं ए लोको नो सांभळु छु तो एमा तो महाप्रभु जी एक मने नाम याद रियो छे बदा नाम बदा याद नथी पण देयर इज सम अदर नाम जे मया तमे बदा नाम लीदा चैतन्य महाप्रभु नित्यानंदानुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुंदुं
આ ત્યાં જે ચૈતન્ય પ્રભુ ની વાત થતી હોય છે અને આ જે આપણે વાત કરીએ છીએ આ બધું રિલેટેડ છે સેમ શુડ બી ધ સેમ હા શુડ બી ધ સેમ ચૈતન્ય મહાપ્રભુ એક જ છે જે વેસ્ટ બંગાળમાં આવ્યા હતા ઈ પણ મહાપ્રભુ ઓખા કે છે ને મહાપ્રભુ ઘણા છે પણ ચૈતન્ય મહાપ્રભુ એક જ છે ઓકે ઓકે કો ફરે વલ્લભચાર્ય ને મહાપ્રભુ કે તો એવી રીતે આપણે થોડું કન્ફ્યુઝન થઈ જાય પણ ચૈતન્ય મહાપ્રભુ એક જ છે ઓની અને એને તો ઘણું બધું લિટરેચર આપ્યું છે ને અને લિટરેચર એટલે એને એના ડિવોટીઝ એ ઘણું આપ્યું છે જે છ છ ગોસ્વામી હતા ને લેટર ઓન નો પ્રોબ્લમ Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Anything else? Okay, we can stop. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki chai, Nityananda Prabhu ki chai, Nityananda Triyodasi ki chai.